Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we'll be talking about the extension of the knowledge that we had in the previous video. If you remember, in the previous video, we had a publisher which was publishing data onto a topic and we had a lot of different subscribers subscribe to that topic. Now, as soon as publisher publishes data, the subscribers used to get the data. Now, that was done on our PC and it was internally managed. But now in, in real robotics, this is now how things work. Uh, there has to be a robot communicating with the ROS uh, platform, ROS server, and uh, ROS server co uh, computes one or the other form of the data and then, uh, and then sends the data back to the robot. This is how normal ROS robots work. So today we'll be having an Arduino with us, which can also be uh, used as a publisher which will publish a certain kind of data, basically an odometry data to the ROS and ROS will implement certain kind of visualization onto it and uh, show us what we are trying to send. Now this microcontroller, like the Arduino one, can be, it can be Raspberry Pi for you, it can be an STM for you, it can be BeagleBone for you. Depending upon your uh, comfort, you can use whichever microcontroller you are or microprocessor you are comfortable with. So let's try implementing this. So first things first, we have to install ROS library in Arduino. To do that, uh, I've shared a link in the description. Just download the zip file and extract it wherever you want. After you have extracted, copy that file, go into the Arduino libraries and paste it here. After you're done with that, open up Arduino IDE. Now we'll upload a very basic example of Odometry Publisher in Arduino. So go to the examples, go to the ROS library and search for Odo. In this code, we are incrementing X and Y in a circular manner using theta and trying to put that data onto the Odo. After the code has been uploaded, let's go to ROS and start ROS core. The first thing that we'll do in the ROS is basically install a ROS serial package. To do that, go onto the internet the same way we did in the last video and search for ROS serial package. Search for Melodic. And clone the package. Go to Catkin. And, uh, and do a catkin make. This might take a while. After it is done, execute raw score and uh, then connect to the source. Now also give permission to the port which is connected to Arduino to do that. Let's do sudo chmod666 uh, and then def and then tty is cm0. And after that has been given, uh, run raw serial python. And then a uh, serial node of Python and also give the port with which you'll be getting the data. So I'll be getting data from TTY ACM0. And then after we have enabled, and now you can see that uh, ROS is trying to connect to the topic. Basically, ROS is trying to connect to the topic which is being created by Arduino and try to listen to it. After that has been done, let's go and uh, Try ROS topic list, sorry, and see what little topics we have to read. Now, if you can see, there is a TF top topic as well. This basically is a transform that is being sent by Arduino. Let's try reading it and see where, what are we really getting it. So ROS topic echo, and then give TF there. Uh, the timestamp, the translation that is X, and Y and the rotation, which is the X and Y given by Arduino. Now this data needs to be visualized to understand what the data is about. To do that, let's just create one more tab, connect to the source. 
after that just start ROS run our race so this particular uh, software or this particular package is a visual transformation of the data that you are sending or receiving through ROS so to see the data which we are getting go into the add and add a transform now here it is showing a warning don't worry about it go to the fixed frame and give or don't now you'll be able to see the data which has been sent by Arduino what the ROS has done is basically subscribed to the data that you are giving through Arduino and trying to show that data over here now things should be much clearer the odom is the package which is giving this base link x and y coordinate onto the circle over ROS serial and we are able to get this data onto the ROS now you can see the data which has been sent by Arduino is getting visualized over here now if you can send x and y then you can always send the encoder wheel data or you can always send IMU data you can send sensor data depending upon your usage you can send whatever you want to send from the robot to the ROS and you can implement or visualize whatever data you are sending now in this video you'll realize that robot is able to communicate with ROS and visualize the data which has been set by the robot in the next video we'll try to manipulate this data and send something to the robot now in that case you'll understand how the data is getting transmitted and received back with the robot if you understand this concept then you can make anything in this world with ROS. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.